San Diego, it's August already. Unreal. And I'm here with my partner. Jesse Abine is over on the real estate side. And Jeremy Beck with the Greenhouse Screw. Right. Today we're going to talk about HELOCs, how to use them and how not to use them, and of course some numbers. Man, the numbers. The numbers are going to deceive you as they did me and probably be a good forecast for what's about to happen here as we move into election year. So you're not going to want to miss those three. Let's do this. San Diego, hot off the press, yeah. okay? Ooh, ooh, it's hot, it's hot to the touch. Something's wrong with our printer. Something might be wrong with the printer, but I'll tell you what, what's not wrong though, are what the numbers are telling us, right? So you check in with us over here at the Greenhouse Group on a monthly to be able to figure out, hey, what the hell does all this stuff mean to you? Numbers are always tricky, why? Because they're a snapshot in time of decisions that were already made sometimes three, four, five, six months ago mm -hmm. that finally became stats that eventually make it out here to us. But check this out. So year over year change in closed sales prices down again another 8%. Yeah. We cannot seem to get unstuck from the transaction mud. Yeah. It feels like it's like the market's trying to pick up as an as a matter of fact, year over year change in homes for sale up another 45%. Dang. Again. This is back to back 40s yeah. that are being dropped on inventory. So it's like where's all this stuff going? Is it just like bleeding out into the market? Kind of a little bit like we're seeing a lot of days on market jacked up. I think 206% yeah. days on market increase. I saw that stat last week, but the one that will just not, it's like the Jaws shark that yeah. just can't get enough harpoons into it is Do on it. the ownership side. Gang, we made another 10 and a half percent last month on our equity, like homes value, value another 10 and a half percent. It's like the jackpot that just keeps on hitting, dude. Yeah. You know, and so it's interesting. It's like, where are we at? So it's still a strong seller market, but we dropped two points. So we lost a little bit sliding over to the buyer side. And the number one thing to watch right now is when is that inventory going to actually meet demand? And we're going to start to see that shift. Yeah. And with these pricing increases come this creative lending market. So we always see new programs pop up. Sometimes not new programs, but maybe new uses. Mm. Getting to it, HELOCs. Home equity line of credit, sometimes also just regular seconds. Yep. People are using them now, right? Why? Because their value has gone up so much and there's two ways to use them in a refinance, right? So you don't want to touch your first because you got a good rate. Who would? Leave that thing alone. Yeah. Get a HELOC, use that money while you can right now. One day you'll combine all that. And you don't even have to use the money, which is cool. It kind of acts as like a little bit of a, 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 a personal family finances prophylactic because mm -hmm. you only get hit if you actually use it so it can sit there. You can have it as a backup plan right. as well. That's a good good use of it. The other thing that's really important is when we're getting into purchases yeah. and we have certain loan amounts that we don't want to extend over, or at least if we don't, we get benefits. So we're using seconds in purchases a lot more right now. Towards the end of the year, that tends to happen. Yeah. So those are all the pros. The cons are, that you got to watch out for are they tend to be adjustable rate mortgages. So be careful with that. Interest only payments means you're not paying principal. So right. when that draw period is over, you get a big payment coming up. Yep. And then the other thing is actually what you're talking about. If you get a HELOC and you're not using it and it's sitting there and you want to do new financing, sometimes that can be an impediment as well. Yep. So it's really important that you know the pros and cons before signing up for one of these products because they can get you into a position you maybe don't want to be in. So it's worth talking to somebody about first. And it just depends on what your plans are, right? So if you're looking to do something, get in or out pretty quick, maybe it's not the best. Mm -hmm. You're looking to stay there for a little while, almost a no brainer. Yeah. But gang, that's what we do down here. It's your little local greenhouse group hitting it to you live month in, month out with a little market update to say, hey, ask the question, what does all this stuff actually mean to you so you can make an educated choice and have the clarity you need for your real estate stuff? So yeah. hit us up.